February 1st, and it's just a beautiful day, obviously, as you can see. Just, you know, bluebird skies, a little bit of cloud cover, and guess what? It's 66 degrees. You know, mid-60s, and it's the beginning of February. You never have that. And the, the lake that I'm going to be fishing today actually had ice pretty much covering the entire lake, but there was a small section of water that was open, and I'm hoping that the lake is completely open up now because of this warm weather. So I'm pretty sto stoked and excited to be hitting the water. Let's go catch some fish. Woo! All right, walking up the hill towards the lake here. I haven't seen it yet. I'm hoping it's not frozen over. Damn, the lake is still frozen. Oh, there's uh, there's some open water over there by the uh, the concrete pump. I'm gonna go over there and uh, you know see what I can catch out of that little bit of open water there. Okay, this is perfect. There, all right, guys. There's not much water, obviously open. Most of the lake is covered with ice, but this little patch right here of open water, right next to the pump here, there could definitely be quite a few fish stacked up in this little area because th there's no ice, so you're getting more sun penetration, and a lot of the fish that are in this area know that. They're gonna go into this particular spot and they're gonna sun themselves because there's no ice there. And you know, the, the sun is hitting the bottom, all those rocks and mud that's down there is getting heated up. This is gonna be a magnet for fish, so I think I'm gonna do pretty good today. Oh my gosh, I'm I'm out of the wind right now because of this little tiny uh, this little tiny hill. It almost feels like it's 70 degrees down here in the in the, sitting in the sun on these rocks. Alright, I'm gonna be throwing one of my wintertime favorites, just a little finesse fish on a 1 ounce ounce jig, jig head. I'm gonna throw that all the way out, maybe even onto the ice. Yep, threw it out onto the ice. I'm gonna slip it off that ice and then just let it free fall down to the bottom. Oh, I had a pickerel followed in. Decent sized pickerel followed it in. I just saw him right there. I'm gonna drop my jig right, he's probably right off the drop off here. I knew I had a bite. Pickerel like the uh, like the finesse fish jerked really hard, so I'm gonna make it look like it's injured. He'll probably come back and eat it. Oh, he missed it. I saw him. I saw him go after it. Come on, he'll hit it this time. He's down there. I see him. He's right down there. He tried to hit it. I, I jerked it away from him at the, um, at the last second. Oh, he broke me off. He broke me off. I don't know. My drag was set pretty loose. He just, that fish just snapped me off. You know, I, I've caught some big pickerel on four pound test and they've never just snapped me off like that. Wow. Well, if that fish is hungry, I'll catch him again. And maybe my lure will still be in his mouth. Oh, there was a bite. Darn, I missed him. I had a bite. He hit it on the fall. There he is. Fish on. It's a big fish, whatever this is. It's a really big fish. trying to break me off. Oh, he's not that big. Oh, okay. My uh, my drag was just set really loose. It's a nice size pickerel. Oh. Use a six pound. Oh no, the line is in his mouth. Oh, oh no. Sometimes you hook him right and it's on the side of their mouth, but he's it's the line's rubbing right on his teeth. Oh my gosh. Come on. No, no, no. I don't really want to land the fish that much, actually. I kind of just want to, oh my gosh. I kind of just don't want to lose my jig. <laughs> Come on, pickerel. Come to papa. Pickerel, these pickerel in the winter time are really fun to catch on this ultralight tackle, definitely. 
Oh, the line is caught on his uh, on his jaw flap. Okay, that's a big one. Oh, got him. That's why I bring the net. Woo! Nice pickerel. Easy, probably three pounds or close to three pounds. Woo! Look at this. <laughs> the line. The reason why this pickerel didn't cut me off is the line got caught in the corner of her mouth right here. So she couldn't cut it off on her teeth. See this little flap? It was caught right there. So she couldn't rub the uh, her teeth on the line at all. Barely hooked them right there on the edge of the mouth. Woo! Woo! Nice chunky pickerel. Just ate that little tiny finesse fish. There he is, fish on. Oh, he broke me off. Ah, that's two pickerel that have taken my jig. Gosh darn it, I had my drag set so loose too. Okay, back in action. Hopefully I don't lose this next one. Gotta fish this finesse fish really, really slow along the bottom. How I've been fishing it today to get all my bites is I've basically been jerking it up and then letting it flutter back down. And all of my bites pretty much have came on the fall. You know, I jerk it up and then let it kind of just sink down. And when I jerk it up, I'm probably about, you know, two to five inches off the bottom. So then basically when I jerk it up, I bring it about a foot off the bottom and then I let it just flutter slowly back down, and that's when those fish are gonna are gonna bite it. Come on, fish. There he is. Fish on. Another good fish. Come on, stay on there. A little bit smaller pickerel, probably about a two pounder. Oh, don't break me off, come on. Be nice to me, come on. I don't wanna lose another jig. This is why I bring the little net. Got him, woo! <laughs> Just ate that finesse fish right there. <laughs> oh, he's trying to bite me. All right, so just, I'm two for two right now. Landed two, lost two. I'm looking for one more fish. There he is, fish on. Hopefully I can land this one. I'm two for two right now. Oh, nice little guy. Nice, oh, whoa. That pickerel freaked out. He came straight in and then he, oh no, it's on his teeth. Come on. No, don't break me off. I'm two for two right now. Just trying to get, the, oh my gosh, he's rubbing me on every rock in this fish. He's taking me under the ice. Oh my gosh. I've never wanted to catch a pickerel so bad. Come on. Uh, be the last fish of the day, yeah. Woo! Got him. <laughs> of the net. Not bad. I think I'm going to make this the last fish of the day. The bite definitely slowed down. I caught uh, you know, five pickerel today. I landed three. Not a bad day when you're only fishing you know, a 30 foot section of open water. Definitely. It's a quarter mile little finesse fish. Woo! guys well uh, I'm gonna call it a day got some homework I got to take care of back at school I hope you enjoyed the video of me catching some pickerel it would have been nice to catch a bass or two but you know when there's only a 30 foot section of water open 
you know, you should be lucky just to catch some fish. And I got lucky. I went two for three today. You know, I hooked into five fish, but was only able to land three. And that's what happens when you're using six pound test and you're catching, you know, some pretty big pickerel with big teeth. But um, anyways, you know, I'll go over my setup again. The setup I was using today was just basically, you know, that Lunker City finesse fish on a 1 16th ounce jig head, a Berkeley Cherrywood HD ultralight spinning rod with a Quantum Optics 10 spinning reel rigged with six pound test spider wire. I usually always use Power Pro, but um, when I went to Bass Pro Shops to buy the five pound test Power Pro, they didn't have any. And I was, I was like, damn. So I had to go with spider wire, which spider wire works uh, great as well. And then I'm basically just using, uh, like I said, a six pound test Seaguar fluorocarbon leader. And I'm tying it directly to the jig. I would strongly recommend looking into purchasing like a light tackle ultralight setup like this so you can fish these um, little tiny finesse fishes in the early spring because in this is probably going to be my go-to setup to fish during that transitional period once that ice starts to melt off the lakes and that water is still cold and I'm probably going to fish this setup all the way up until early spring until that water hits like the 40 degree mark so I would definitely recommend looking in to uh, purchasing one of these setups for yourself and uh, if you want any more information on this setup, just look in the description below. So uh, anyways, thanks again for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed watching me catch some fish. If you want, if you want to know anything else, just post a comment in the comment section below, and I'll be sure to get back to you. Don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. I'll see you guys out here in the water. Peace.